Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right guys, welcome back to Up and Adam channel two. I'm so happy to be back in the studio. I said this on uh, previous videos before today that I am not going to be here on Friday, Saturday, Friday or Saturday. Um, I'll be in a hotel in beautiful Salt Lake City. So um, why I can't share with you guys now, but pray for me, I guess. I don't want to go there. Um, but I will obviously work trumps all. So anyways, before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And uh, with that, let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to start right here with the Jim Bellino of it all. Thank you to Reality Blur. But Jim Bellino revealed if his friend Ryan Boyajian will follow through with his purported lawsuit against Tamara Judge after the Real Housewives of Orange County star accused him of stealing money from a Dodgers player. Now, Jim, who was married to castmate Alexis Bellino and who successfully sued Tamara for slander in 2018, shared how much money his own lawsuit cost. He also addressed how Ryan is doing now, and Ryan previously indicated that he hired the same lawyer that Jim used. But after Tamara made the accusations against Ryan on Watch What Happens Live, she quickly issued an apology and hinted that she does not know much about the allegations that Ryan is somehow involved in a gambling investigation. It was on the Sarah Fraser show where Jim was asked if Ryan really hired the same lawyer that Jim used to sue Tamara, and he said, that's correct, Jeff Neary. Jeff's an amazing lawyer. He's an, expe an expert on slander and defamation. But the host then asked if Jim believes Ryan and Jeff will actually sue Tamara for slander. And the papers that were served to Tamara, to my knowledge, are cease and desist and in order for an apology. But the host speculated that Ryan will not sue Tamara so long as she apologizes and stops speaking his name. Lisa, he, well, this is, this is where it went. Listen, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. Nobody wants to sue anybody. I can promise you it's very emotionally drain draining. It's like a divorce. And what surprises me, knowing how much money and emotion Tamara went through, why she would put herself in this position saying statements as if fact, like he was raided by the FBI and that he stole money from a baseball player. Those are actionable offenses. So the fact that Ryan is only requiring an apology, that says something about his character. I think that he realizes, and I've actually spoke with Ryan about this, that if you can get the apology, don't go through with the lawsuit just because it's draining. But as for how Ryan is doing, Jim said, Jim said, he's great. He's just a very even guy, very chill. I think he handles himself very well in these situations, but he's not going to take any shit. So it's on right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like this is going to be a shit show, but let me just play the clip for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Thank you to the Sarah Fraser Ryan show. has hired your lawyer, the lawyer that handled your case. That's correct, Jeff You're, Neary. I'm assuming Jeff's a good lawyer. I mean, he won for you. You like Jeff? Jeff's an amazing lawyer. He's an expert on slander and defamation. Ryan has served her with papers. So do you believe Ryan and Jeff, they are going to sue her for slander? The papers that were served, to my knowledge, are cease and desist and a order for an apology. Okay, so that's not really a loss. Like, he's not going to sue her at this point. It's just, if you stop speaking my name and you do the apology I'm asking for, I will drop it. Listen, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. Nobody wants to sue anybody. I can promise you oh, it's no very emotionally draining. It's like a divorce. And what surprises me, knowing how much money and emotion Tamara went through, why she would put herself in this position, saying statements of fact, like he was raided by the FBI and that he stole money from a baseball player. Those are actionable offenses. So the fact that Ryan is only requiring an apology, that says something about his character. I think that he realizes, and I've actually spoken with Ryan about this, that if you can get the apology, don't go through with the, the lawsuit just because it's draining. How is Ryan doing? He's great. 
He's just a very even guy, very chill. I think he handles himself very well in these situations, but he's not going to take any shit. So it's on right now. Ryan? I mean, honestly, to say that he's not going to take any shit and say that it's on right now, I am not blaming Ryan for anything that he's doing. Um, if it comes out that Ryan had any knowledge or information when it comes to this whole FBI case against the guy who uh, allegedly stole money from the Dodgers player, that's all going to play out in court. I wouldn't speak of it as a matter of fact. I don't think I, I truly believe in the system of you are innocent until proven guilty. I would not say, you know, like, oh, Ryan. And she didn't say he was guilty. She did not say that. But she alluded to the fact that there is something missing. There are parts missing and that he definitely has a bigger hand in all of this than what he's leading on to. That's what it felt like as a fan watching now for him he was like you either shut the fuck up shut up and i'm gonna give you a cease and desist and you back off or i'm going to sue you and that's when she issued multiple apologies because i think that she is getting exactly what jim bellino is saying nobody wants to go through another freaking lawsuit not something that's emotionally draining not something that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars nobody wants this especially not camera whether she talks a lot or not, the woman doesn't want to be sued. But then there was also this that came out. Thank you to Taste of Reality. I didn't necessarily understand what was being said here, but this is, I'm reading it to you because I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. They said, Tamara Judge responds to a Twitter user who posted receipts of her purchasing various flags. And she wrote, do you guys not have anything better to do? This is getting ridiculous. No, it's not related to Blue Lives Matter or anything MAGA. I'm a strong believer in equality and justice for those affected by police brutality. And I would never promote or sell anything hateful. These reviews, since you have so much time on your hands, here's my eBay. Sophia is trying to earn some extra money while going to college by selling my clothes. And then it goes from there and it says, Aiden the re-up eight in there up in there uh, i don't even know what his handle is and teddy was worried about where vicky was on january 6th and it showed a photo of tamra and it said excellent transaction love the garden flags good quality thank you as promised a plus 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 thank you um garden goose thin blue line please 12 by 18 flag and perfect, thank you so much, which was a Garden Goose United States of America 12 by 18 flag. So, yeah, I mean, lots of that came out. Um, honestly, I just want to hear what you guys think. Guys, pop off in the comment section, please. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Definitely don't forget to hit that notification bell. We just got back last night. I need a face mask. I need... I took, I've taken two showers at this point. I need another shower. I need like a little chin thing. I need to shave. I need to tan and I need to go to the gym. I need to get ready for Salt Lake City. So if you guys are around, vote in the community tabs because I will be posting. And if you're not around, then just know that tomorrow we will be around for our Real Housewives of New York recap with Kim from Bravo Breaking News. Always a good time. Always a good time. So yeah. I think I covered everything. And again, I'm sorry for no hot messy yesterday or Friday, but don't worry. We will be back before we know it. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.